Julia. Unlock twice and you can let me in. Don't fall asleep, David. You're gonna get caught. Why don't you just stay home? Who are you even going with? Friends. We're just gonna go and play hide and seek in the dark. I'll be safe, you've got my back. I love you. I'll see you later, okay? They're stealing her from us. I'm gonna be a police car. <laughs> Nino, Nino, Nino. <laughs> Don't be silly, Julia. It's a pretty blue, isn't it? The sea. Do you like it? Abby, what did you say? I didn't mean anything. I'm so, so sorry, Julia. I didn't mean to make you cry. I just like it. Good morning, all of you. Now, well, I trust you've all had a filling breakfast and you're ready for your very first day of Academy. I must warn you, this will be a very long, exhausting and strenuous and very difficult eight months for some of you. But if you have what it takes to succeed, if you have the heart to succeed, I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that many of you can have a long and successful and a very happy career with us. Work and drive and go. And that's how you work and drive and go and that's how you work and drive and go and that's how you work. 
work and work and work work and drive and go and that's how you work and drive and go and that's how you work and drive and go and that's how you work and work and work Shut up, you lot. Honestly, you talk so much rubbish. I wouldn't be surprised if I get promoted to sergeant after this training. Shut up, George. Oh, do I like her, mate? The only people that are going to pretend to care about you are the ones that come to your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Steve. I'd be surprised if you even make it through this training. Oh, come on, George. I think I have what it takes. You couldn't even take a job at a coffee shop. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, if anyone's going to be sergeant after this, it's going to be me. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Seth. You are the most masculine out of all of us. <laughs> Don't be jealous I have more chest hair than you. It's more of an insult to you, Soph. Uh, naturally, I'm actually kind of proud of my um, body hair. I can tell. Your beard's coming along nicely. Pretty good. No, but in like, in seriousness, we've had a lot of fun. You know, I just want to get it over with and just start my career. I remember when I was a kid, about nine years old, every day I used to sit by the window and watch as the local officer marched his patrol down the street. Every day I'd look at that guy. And every day I knew that I wanted to be here. <laughs> hey, I want to be a police officer since I was young. Dad was a sergeant running the police force. I want him to be proud of me. So when I'm older, I want my kids to be proud of me. Just the same. Gay. You know what I mean, George? Well, I want to be an officer because I want to shoot the bad guys, you know. Clear up the streets. And uh, I was so close to being one of them. I was a part of this gang, but then my, uh, my brother took me to this youth intervention convention. And I was approached by an officer there and he said, son, you can live your life one or two ways. You can either live happy or live dead. You can either feel happy or feel dead. You can either be happy or be dead. So it's easy to fight death while you're living. So I'd let the pay was all right and uh, signed up the next day. And that's why I'm here, soon to be the next sergeant, fighting death while I'm still living. <laughs> no, I don't think I'll be a sergeant. You probably won't, Michael. <laughs> Why'd you say that? Well, if I marry Soph, I'll end up being a fucking housewife, won't I? <laughs> <laughs> rather marry her than Jules over here. You're 100% right, Carter. I'd rather marry the dirtiest girl than Jules. <laughs> You'd still be marrying her, mate. <laughs> Shut up, mate. Hey, Jules, why don't you do us all a favour and take a little jog to the forest like your sister did and disappear? <laughs> First, I'd like to congratulate you on passing the necessary requirements for the eight-month academy training, which I must say is a very good achievement. Thank you, Sergeant. And looking at your application form, you've expressed an interest in joining the Hook Police Station, one of the largest stations in the country. What was your reason for selecting this location? I just... I just picked it. But why? What's your reason? I just picked that one. So you wouldn't mind being appointed to any station? No, I picked Hook Police Station. Then why pick it, if you haven't got a reason? I'm sure you're aware, Miss Marks, that almost all of your colleagues at the Academy also picked Hook Police Station. Which is why I'm slightly confused. Confused about what? Well, from all records, doesn't appear that you quite get along with the other people at the academy. <sighs> Miss Marks, if there's so much friction between you and this trainee group of officers, 
then why? Why have you decided to start your career in the same place as all of these people? Right, I can see you're getting agitated, all right. But let me just ask this one final time, just for our records. Is Hook Police Station your final choice? Now, that was a tough eight months, huh? Huh? Come on, give yourself another round. Come on. <laughs> and George, you are this, this fucking close to failing. <laughs> <laughs> Disturbance about 30 minutes ago from an identified caller at the far end of this estate. This caller said they heard gunfire from outside their home. Five minutes later, two officers arrived at the scene. They then attempted to engage in this attack but were both shot and now critically injured. Your units will be positioned on the far north side along the barrier. You're all okay with this order, right? What's your name? Uh, Officer George Kincaid, sir. Kincaid, you take your team, you put them on the north side of this barrier, okay? But I'm not in charge, sir. You do what I say. Now go! Uh. Alright, uh. You heard him. Uh. Let's get positioned along the barrier, Al. I'll, I'll stay here. Uh, Brian. If you uh, go in the next garden across, uh, down from Brian will be. Steve. Ollie. And at the far end of the barrier, Julia. Uh, down from me will be Carter. Sophie and Michael. All right, guys. Let's get in position.
All right, everyone, hold your positions. Steven. Oh, Steven. What? How much longer do you think it will be before they just give up? I have no idea, Oliver. Just, just keep wiggling your toes. Why would I do that? It helps with the circulation. That is just for sitting down on planes. We are standing up. Just looking out for you, Oli. Oi, Soph. What? Can you see anything? No. I can't see anyone at the window. Are you sure, Soph? I can't see anyone, Michael. Soph, you sure? Fuck off. Good to see everyone staying calm, George. George. George! Well, listen. Do you think it might be a good idea if we swap positions about? No! We're just fine as it is. I appreciate right. the change. No! We're just fine as it is. We shouldn't be too much longer, alright? They'll send in another squad car. Keep your lid on. Car. Cover the windows. I'll check the rest. That way, you moron. George. Just shut up and do your job. Now, everyone, stay calm and stay in your positions. Inside. Fucking stupid. We need Cosmo. to get out the open. Fucking stupid. Come on. Oh, okay. All right. Come on. Come on. All right. Get in. Get in. Get in.
Get down. Stay calm. Stay calm. Right. There's two doors up here. You two check the one on the right. Got it. We need Brian. <gasps> Listen to me, George. If you want to get out of this alive, you're going to have to do what I say. Right. You do the one on the right. I'll check the one on the left. <laughs> Shit. You're late? Lost track of time. Did you even sleep last night? Actually, no. April made sure of that. You're such a pig. Actually, I think her name was Amber. She was American, and if I say so myself, she was pretty hot. Again, you're such a pig. Actually, you're not just a pig, you're late. I've been covering for you all morning. And you couldn't just tear yourself away from Abby or Amber or whoever just for an hour earlier, could you? All right, calm down. What's the issue? Uh, two reports so far. I can't believe you don't like the crust. It's the best bit. It's not. Why would I want to fill myself up on bread and not be able to enjoy the nice bit? You're just being fussy. Forty-three Westwood Close. What's that? His home address. Ooh. Anyway, it's none of your business. You're my partner, not my chaperone. God, your conversations are boring. Not once has he asked you what you're wearing under your uniform. Where's all the dirty flirty? I know you've had so much meaningful relationships, but that is what a real relationship looks like. <sighs> Where's all the fun and excitement? You need some more fire, Jules. You look like you haven't had much passion in a while. Please can you stop insulting me and stop reading my texts? <sighs> He's out the window.
shit. Just follow my lead. Right, we should probably get off. Somebody else can come and cover. If we stay any longer, it'll get suspicious. Unless you want to, you know. Nice to meet you. My name's Paige. I heard about that awful tragedy at the raid. It's alright, don't worry. Listen, how about I take you out for some drinks tonight? We can have a girls' night out. You're not busy, are you? No, I'd love to. I'll have to head home for some dinner first, but we can meet up at the pub over the road, have a couple drinks. Sound good? Yeah. Thank you. Great. Hello. Hello. Hiya. Hi. Hi. Oh, you look lovely. Lovely dress. Thank you. I like your coat. <laughs> no, I know you're just being polite. <laughs> like, what? I struggled so much with the assault course at the academy. I mean, look at me. I'm not athletic. <laughs> well, clearly not athletic enough. But somehow I passed. <laughs> Do you have that instructor? Oh, uh, oh what's his name? Um, Sergeant Peters. No. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> did you have Sergeant Warren? Yeah, yeah, I did. Really? I love that girl. She's so funny. Really? <laughs> she didn't seem that funny. She's not meant to be. Um, but trust me, like she puts on this, this persona, like the serious sergeant <laughs> attitude. <laughs> But trust me, she's nothing <laughs> like that. Where did she go? Like, I haven't seen her that much. Well, she left. She went to Bracknell Police Station. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go see her. Oh, you're going to go visit her? No, I don't have time to visit people. <laughs> I'm relocating to Bracknell. Like, same job, different place. Wait, you're leaving? Well, yeah. Why do you think I packed up my stuff this morning? I don't usually go out on a weekday night, but I thought it would be good to have one last night out with the girls. But who else did you invite? Well, that's why I'm leaving.
Officer Marks and Officer Phillips. I need you two to respond to an urgent call we've had from a Miss Montgomery about a disturbance involving another individual at the Wilbridge factory. Go check it out. You really shouldn't smoke, you know. You've got too much to live for, Jules. Let me take it off you, like the hero I am, saving your life. Just have it and stop trying to chat me up. This isn't the time. Whatever's wrong, stop worrying about it. Nothing's wrong, it's just this place. Sure. you got worry lines here. How's this with Liam going? How long you two lovebirds been together now? A few months? Not long. It's just I haven't had a... I haven't been seeing anybody else, so I haven't had a chance to leave him yet. But don't get me wrong, I'm happy with him. I'm just not that happy. You know, there are other guys you could see. Do you want to go for coffee later? How about dinner? Jules. All right, let's go. Come on. Yeah, we should probably stop. Save some conversation for later, you know. Shut up. God, Carter, what is that smell? I don't know. <coughs> Whatever it is, someone's tried hard to cover it up and I don't blame them. It stinks. Probably some bad sewage pipes. Don't let that slow you down, though. I'm fine. If you want to go and sit in the car, you can. Seriously, I can look after a woman by myself. I'm serious. Carter, I said I'm fine. I just can't see anything. Watch your step. Walk carefully. This is the last time we do one of these assignments. We are a running joke. You're a running joke. So We're still rookies. You've got to remember that. But nobody else has to do cases like these. We're the ones who have to clear the joggies off the streets, push papers that nobody can bother to process, and deal with overly emotional teen shoplifters. We're jokes, Carter. Jokes. It's got to be up here somewhere. We need to get to the offices at the top of the factory. You're not even listening to me now. Jules, you know I'd stay up all night and listen to you talk. And yes, our jobs may suck right now. We don't like being pushed around by some idiots. That's going to be us in a few years, and we're going to be pushing around the newbies. But right now, we need to do our jobs. Oh, it's something just dripped on your shoulder. Oh, that's sticky. Did you hear that? That's nothing. Just forget about it. Did you mean what you said earlier? What about staying up all night? No. No, about wanting to, like, stay in the job till you get to the top. Well, yeah. Never been any good at anything else. Apart from rugby. We've worked too hard to throw it all away now. You deserve good in your life. Forget the bad. Come on. This is it. Montgomery? 
Uh, we received an urgent call. It's Officer Marks and Officer Phillips. Such a waste of time. She's obviously mental.
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry, you got that wrong. Bad luck, bad luck. But, 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 you still have one more round. You still have one more round. Aren't you lucky, you poor little girl? So, let's change the games a bit, shall we? So instead of it being heads or tails, let's have a simple question of yes or no. Tails means no. And heads means yes. Yes or no. No, 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 a person always comes prepared, so I have a silver one. You see this? You see it? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. No. Oh, yes. Congratulations, you have won. Now as your reward, you shall have my very special dessert. So how about, how about this delicious blood roast chicken, huh? How about this, huh? Oh, come on, eat up, eat up. I'm sure you want it, don't you? You gonna ignore what I'm gonna give you? All right. Making you look greedy, huh? Julie, 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 Julie. Oh, everyone, oh, I know. Oh, I know everything about you, Julia. Oh, no need, no need, no need, no need, no need. I mean, everything. Everything, everything. There's no need whatsoever. Because everything, and I do mean everything. You shut up right now. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? It's happening again. It always happens in here. It always happens in here. Every single time, every single time. I hear them. I hear their cries, I hear their screams, I hear their agonies, and there's nothing, nothing I can do about it. I have to constantly hear it! It just doesn't quiet! It just doesn't quiet down! <laughs> but you know what, my dear Julie? I enjoy it a lot. I don't have a problem with it whatsoever. It gives me unimaginable pleasure. You want it as much as I do. You want it even more. You know what, Julie? At some point, you're gonna have to run as fast as you can, my dear girl. You're gonna have to run as fast as you can. Because before you know it, you're going to be running for your life. You're going to be running for your life like a bear. And the bear always catches his prey, doesn't it? The bear always catches his prey. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me! I am the bear that chases its prey. Do you understand me? I am the bear that chases its prey. And there's nothing you can do to run away. Oh, 
My dear Julie, it's all right to be scared. It's all right to feel fear. Because it is a matter of, it's a simple game of life and death. So, my dear Julie, you're gonna have to run as fast as you can because the whistle is about to start and the screaming is about to begin as also the cheers are about to start running wild. So I'm gonna give you the count of 10 before the fireworks start shooting in the sky. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Rather marry her than Jules over here. You're one hundred percent right, Carter. I'd rather marry the dirtiest girl than Jules. <laughs> You'd still be marrying her. Shut up, mate. Shut the fuck up, Julie. No one cares about your opinion. For fuck's sake. Hey, Jules. Why don't you do us all a favour and take a little jog to the forest like your sister did and disappear? <laughs> So sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't, Carter. Don't shut me out. Just leave me alone. No, I won't. Just leave me alone. When were you going to tell me? You found out, didn't you? Is it mine? No. Are you sure? Yes, it's not yours, it's his. Liam gets it. This isn't my life anymore, I can't keep doing this. So you're just going to drop everything and leave? Leave me? I have to. Is that your answer to everything now? Just bury your head in the sand and give up? I'm not giving up, I'm trying to get out. I'm not like you, Carter, I can't keep doing this. This is just a job, get inside, come on. But if you go, don't even think of coming back!
Miss Marks, could you please state your name and the case you were listed on February the 12th, 2009? Um, <clears throat> my name is Julia Rose Marks and on February the 12th I was enlisted on a case at the Wilbridge factory. Good, very good. I like your bracelet. Okay, first question I personally find very interesting. What did you feel when you first arrived at the scene of the Wilbridge factory incident that's become so infamous worldwide? Well, as you know, we didn't know at the time. Didn't know what? Who found the victim? Her name was Mina. Do you mind if I smoke? Sorry, I can't smoke in this building. She was strange at first, but nice, I guess. You're smiling. I just remember being scared. I was a police officer. You know what they say? You've seen it before again and again. Are you okay? Yeah. No, can we take a break? But we only just started. Please, I need to leave. Can we reschedule? Sure. When would be good for you? I don't know yet. One last thing. I know that you weren't exactly treated well by many of the others from your past. You only had one friend, Carter Phillips, right? No, that was someone else. Someone else? I had another friend. I did. Well, who was she? I'll call you. I need to leave. I understand. I hope you got everything you needed. I'll be in contact. I'll try not to leave it too long. Miss Marks? Yeah? I understand that this is hard for you, but I have a deadline I need to meet. In a way, this could be therapeutic for you, to get it all out in the open. More therapy is the last thing I need. Goodbye. Could have prepped that earlier. What have you been doing all day? I was just waiting for you to get home. Didn't want it to get too cold. You know that woman you kept calling? I went to the interview today. Yeah, I remember. It went well then? All sorted and case closed? Yeah, case closed. Good. Enough of all this disturbing nonsense. There's no point in them trying to drag you back in. You're better off in the real world. Away from all the secret serial killers. Yeah. I didn't want to tell them too much. I didn't even tell them about... about my ex-partner. Look, you're definitely happier here with me. You've got me now and... That's all you need. That's not the bracelet that I bought you. Liam, you know I love the one you bought me. I just... I just fancied this one for a change. That's all I wanted to hear. Liam, stop it.
Um, can I get you anything to drink at all? Coffee or...? Uh, black. Two sugars, please. Um, Simon, do you mind? Thanks. How are you feeling today? Is that part of the interview? Well, a lot of it focuses on you, so... Yes. Um, I'm good. Thank you. How many years has it been now? Since what? Since the Woolbridge factory incident. Um, seven. And uh, you never revisited the case? I was granted leave before I decided to leave. Um, but there weren't any leads on the case, so we were just waiting. Waiting for him to act again. I stayed for um, half a year before I found out I was pregnant and then I had to leave. Does the fact that he was never found scare you at all? I mean, after everything you've been through, you must have been a little afraid. Anyone would understand. You were the lucky one. Um, I'd rather not answer that question. Can we move on? You've experienced tragedy before. In the case of your sister. Yes. You were the last person to see her alive. I don't see how that's important to anything, Miss Harris. If you had the chance to go back, would you? What kind of question is that? That's not an answer. Yes. Of course I would. Why wouldn't I? What are you even talking about? I meant would you go back for your sister? Yes. Of course. Don't you think it's time you forgive yourself? Who even said I blamed myself? Don't act like you care about me. You're only talking to me for this documentary thing. You are not my friend. You said we were only going to talk about the Wilbridge case. Nothing more and nothing less. And that is all I'm willing to talk about. But don't you think you should talk about it? Have you ever lost someone you've loved? Have you ever thought that you could be the main difference in their life? Don't you think it's time you forgive yourself? What's the point? It's not like she's listening. The dead can't haunt you forever. Maybe we should uh, take a break? I never said they could. 
I need to leave now. No, I'm sorry. I'll go into my final question. Okay, finally. The first girl that you discovered, his last kill, who was Meredith Douglas? Officer Carter Phillips calling for Julia. I just. Just give me a call back on my new number. It's 0388 495 7237. Yeah, um, please. Um, I'm here to see Carter. The sergeant? Sure. Do you have an appointment? An appointment? He just told me to come see him. Um, well, okay, um, I'll just let him know you're here. Can we have an officer to take a member of the public through, please? Have you been inside police station before? Don't worry, I'm just getting an officer to take you through. Hello, nice to meet you. First time at the police station? Yes, it is. If you wouldn't mind taking her through to Sergeant Phillips' office, please. Of course, Mrs. Julia. Didn't realise Liam changed his surname. He left me. Guess there wasn't much point in you calling me here. I got busy. I can see that. So did I. I can see that. What happened? I was pregnant for six months and then I wasn't. It's been a long time. So is this it or can I go? No, Jules. Don't call me Jules. Look, just take a seat and listen to me. You never stopped with the commands, did you? Guess it's perfect since you're sergeant now. I bet the others hate having you as their boss. You would have loved it. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, there was a reason for bringing you back. What? We need you to confirm your statement from the Wilbridge case. We found him. How? He finally slipped up. How? She was found gagged and raped. He'd been pulled over for drunk driving. They checked the back of the car and found her in the boot. No, I can't do this. Jules, please! No! I didn't come back here for this. This isn't my life anymore. I didn't come back for more pain and more death. She was found alive. She's alive? Yes. Well, barely. She won't talk to anyone. I want her to talk to you. She wants to talk to you. You're the only person who's been through what she went through. With her evidence, we could put this man away for a very, very long time. Mum? Mum? 
Calm down, Katie. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, your mum's okay. This is... This is Julia Rose Marks. Get away. Get away. You stay away from me. You said she wanted to talk to me. Uh, I, th- I thought she'd like you. I hadn't properly asked her. I just thought she'd want to speak to you. Well, you thought wrong. How dare you, Carter? How dare you? I don't want to be here. Let me go home, please. I can't, Carter. I can't. I can't. I'm so sorry about what you've been through, Miss Amber. But I have to leave now. I'm so sorry, Jules. You keep bringing me back to this world. Honestly, it has given me hell since my very first day. From the moment I started, my dreams had already died. Died along with me. Goodbye, Carter. Congratulations on your dreams coming true. Have a good life. Don't go. No, don't leave. You can't let her leave. I have to show her. No, you have to see it. You have to see it too. What are you doing? What are you doing? You I'm not the bad see what I'm he not did. Julia. Unlock twice and you can let me in. Don't fall asleep, David. You're gonna get caught. Why don't you just stay home? Who are you even going with? Friends. We're just gonna go and play hide and seek in the dark. I'll be safe, you've got my back. I love you. See you later, okay? Get out of the car, Jules! Jules! 